The DeSoto must be suffused with residual nanoverse energy. Amazing. Now you're just making stuff up. <laughs> hey, I found a penny. Well, here we are, back in the world of the vertically privileged. Why didn't we come out in the theme park, Sam? Fuel's exploding head must have jostled the space-time continuum while we were growing to our more or less regular size. Is that why I keep growing and shrinking? Uh, sure, let's go with that. Oh, dang. Ah! Hmm. Sweet suffering spell and zany on sourdough. <laughs> Well, where's my well, RPG? I can really use some context right now, Sam. I'm no expert, but it looks like the captain somehow supersized himself. Don't make me hungry, Sam. Also, he seems to have gained some sort of dramatically convenient telekinetic powers and is using them to rebuild the portal to the nanoverse. That jerk! How many times do we have to keep blowing that thing up? <sighs> Bullets aren't working, Sam. Aqua bears are nigh invulnerable and immortal, Max. The best we can hope for is to trigger his hibernation cycle. Which means we need a pat load of dills, scrumpos, and another recording of the Meet the Aqua Bears song. Stat! We've got the song on our record player in the office. I'll go get it while you and Max smother the captain in scrumpos and Dr. Dills. Food Hole tossed out their recalled scrumpos into those dumpsters behind Captain Obnoxious. A, it's disturbing that you know that. B, see if you and the new kid can use that crane to scoop up the scrumpos and cover the captain in fabulous orange powder. Ready? Break! I've always wanted to say that. Susumi. All right, we gotta get past the cat to the crane. Follow me. This is as though getting past him. You climb the crane, Luffy, and I'll prepare the scrumpos. Yeah, go search in the trash. <laughs> Remember your training, Lumpy. Try to coat him with a whole lot of scrumpos to trigger his hibernation cycle. We better do it fast, Sam. I think he's about six telekinetic flexes from rebuilding his portal thing in Now get inside the cave. Okay, Junior. Now here's what we need you to do. Swing the claw of the crane around and pick up the dumpster that Max is currently cavorting in. For the record, I am not cavorting. Really, I'm gonna have to aim like that. I don't even have an indicator. Like, how am I ever gonna do this? Like, what the hell? This random hammer doing there. I'll just go here. That's it, Luffy! You're almost there! What? After Dill's time! Stay out there, Luffy, while I move you over to that rooftop ever so gently! Why? <laughs> Do I just drop? You're gonna need to find some way to knock over that tank. Ooh, a hammer! One of my favorite tools of wanted destruction! 
destruction. Try smashing those bolts with it, and then we can topple this giant can of dills over. That's why it's here. <laughs> It's wobbling! Now bear down on that baby and push! No! Lamar flashbacks! Max, see if you can help the kid out! I got this! No, I don't! Luffy, help! Nah. I need you to connect the hook to the tank top! Get up here! Nice hook! Now we need Melody. Okay, Luffy, grab a hold of the hook. Stop talking like a pirate, Max. Get <laughs> over here. I got the record player. Come on, Sam, do something. Thanks. He's immortal though. Oh well, uh, I'm sure he's fine. Listen kid, we gotta end this now before Captain Jerk rebuilds the portal and unleashes skatey 8 billion giant and vulnerable aqua bears on our beleaguered metropolis. He's already covered in scrumpos and Dr. Dills. Now we just have to figure out some way to amplify our old school hi-fi. This is a weekly test of the killer robot Jesus. alert system. There are no killer robots in your vicinity. This is only a test. How did I go there? That's it. The early warning alert system. All we have to do is plug the record player into its ginormous speakers. Here, use Talk's hoverboard. Fly the record oh. player up to the speakers and blast Cap Aqua Bear into a sonic slumber. Crud! This thing is out of juice. If only there were some heroic and foolhardy way to charge it up quickly. I'm not sure if that was really brave or really dumb. Let's just split the difference and call it Bradon. Now fly the record player up to the speaker and unleash the raw fury of that cheesy, lovable song on the cap. Nice climbing, rookie. Now open up the wiring case and hook the record player up to the speakers. Look out! You did it! He's fallen into the old slate! Kent, get down here! Looks like that EMP blast took out the hoverboard. We're gonna have to do this on foot now, kid. Oh, fuck nothing! He finished the portal! Let's blow this thing up before we're up to our armpits and aqua bears! Force field? That hardly seems Come on. Right. He's waking up! We're Ausgespielt! Ausgespielt? I don't know the meaning of the word! Ooh. Max, you're a giant! Again! You hop onto Max's ginormous paw while I prep for the inevitable death blow. Whoa, I just move with you, But I hate heights. And sweaty palms. Going up! <laughs> Come on. It's just like riding a bike, Sam! Nice job plugging the portal with Captain Brunch, but I don't think that's a permanent solution. No kidding! He's already crowning! Here, kid, take Max's gun and see if you can do anything about the force field. I'm gonna look for some more weapons. That cheesy force field is being generated by those cheesy glowing orbs, just like in a cheesy video game. See if you can take them out. 
Oh damn, what a mess. Pirate cosplay aqua bears, trans dimensional portals, force fields, and ladies unmentionables. Ah! Another puzzle! Why can't I just go back to shooting things? Whoever designed this game, a portal must have been nostalgic for our earlier, less shooty adventures. They really should grow up and get a life. Uh, the aqua bears, I mean. It's the cuckoo clock from our escape room, Sam! The big jerk must have stolen it! That means there must be some sort of clue somewhere for unlocking it. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, it's here. Lucky did it! The clock's opening! And there's another puzzle! Gah! Deep breaths, Max. Any other hints up there? The captain's too dumb to remember a code. It has to be written down somewhere. A safe opening, Sam! What the heck? And look! It's another puzzle! Go to your happy place, Max. What are we looking at? My medicine ball-sized eyes. Oh, so familiar. You think? We've been hearing them all day long! Bears eat meat aqua. Okay. Meat eat. Aqua Bears! Whoa! It's spinning! You better get down from there before you get yourself killed! Welcome back to normalish size, little buddy. Oh, I feel so puny. I've got just the remedy for that. Shooting wildly at those rotating holes in the portal. I feel seen. Sam. Now, let's blow this thing up, kid. Not so fast, Spigot. Ah, oh, what a grind. Keep shooting. Har, har, har. Insert it. One more, Lappy. Hurry. Eight billion intelligent aqua bears are pushing the captain's enormous behind through the portal. We did it. Okay, you did it. But we were there. Where's the kaboom, Sam? Shouldn't the portal be kabooming right now? <laughs> Incredible! Captain Aqua Bear is holding back the explosion with his as yet unexplained telekinetic powers. Ah, for the love of... You want a job done right? That grenade won't do anything, Max. He's impervious. From the outside, maybe. Give me some traveling music to distract him, Sam. I've got just the two. Okay, Luffy. The whole world's resting on your weenie arm's ability to throw me into the gaping maw of that big doofus over there. I know it looks impossible, but hey, I believe in you. Mostly, just pick me up, try not to tickle me, and give it your best shot. Back in baseball. Yeah. We got the beat. What the praises! Oh, I be feeling a mite queasy. I should probably leave now. If I want to look away again. Wow! Oh, I wanted to catch you. Congratulations, cadet! You are now an official member of the Freelance Police. With all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities <laughs> accorded therein. Ask Helios about the free pierogies! Sorry about the smears on the diploma. You have no idea how hard it is to get dills and scrumpos out of mimeograph paper. Sam, what about the other thing? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Max wanted to give you this horrifying memento of your first case. You did good, rookie. Don't you mean lumpy? Don't insult your fellow officer, Sam! 
Want to say a few words, kid? Uh, no. Commissioner! Hold that thought, Luffy! You crack me up, little buddy. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dude, like, as much as I like the comedy of this game and just the atmosphere of it, the mini games, I swear, they're ruining the game, honestly. Like, the whole highlights of the game were just, there was just action going on. Like, this whole finale was great. Some questionable puzzles, but, like, the whole game has that. Like, sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's so hard to get what you have to do that I'm not sure for who is exactly this game. It's neither for kids, it's neither for adults, it's, like, specifically for the fans of Sam and Max which before I didn't know about franchise at all and this game does not really introduce you well as much as Trevor Saves the Universe did so like this whole training park was to me such a boring place that I wanted to just skip it and get into like the steady talks the supermarket screw that like that was the worst level of the game so like it's charmful like this duo is so fun but the game itself is structured wrongly to convey the whole franchise to me as well as the mechanics of the game are very much ancient at this point especially games like that you should be able to pick up like everything on the table or whatever like the tv you can't this paper sure this not like everything should be interactable then it would be up to the standards of vr today but i feel like this game is like delayed it should be released like two three years ago at least maybe for like quest one release because graphically mechanically and just the structure of it it's not for quest two at all it was very wonky like i struggled with a lot of puzzles but half with understanding what i had to do and had i couldn't like connect connect with the game by just not being able to pick up things like climbing, resetting, like it's all over the place to me. I'm happy that it's done because holy hell I struggled with this even though it's adventure genre. I want to go back to the park because there was something that I was interested in. Like this thing here, Dragon Slaughter. It says coming soon when we can afford it. Okay, so I do wonder if it's gonna be like a DLC to the game eventually. <laughs> it's funny that we'll say that when you can afford it like however this game sells I guess but maybe it's something for the future content. I don't know. It could be way better than it was executed to me.